Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now if you always wanted to improve your landings and want to kind of keep track of how you are improving, get all the data about how you have landed the G-Force, landing FPM, all kinds of stuff, the landing speed, your uh, winds that you were facing while you landed, I've got just the right tool for you today. And we are going to go over the installation and kind of the setup process. I'll just make it easy for you guys so that you can right away um, get up and running with it in like five minutes or so. So the tool's name is LRM or the landing rate monitor. And like you will see in the background right now, when you land, it will show you the uh, landing rate FPM and it will also show you the uh, G-force and some other information as well. Let's go over the installation first. So first you need to go to the fshub.io website and I'll link all of these websites that I'm going to in the description so that you can directly follow, um, follow it from there. And then you need to download the LRM client. Once you download the LRM client, it's very easy. Just install it wherever you want to install it. And that's it. You're done with at least this part. For the LRM client to work, you also need FSUIPC7. So for that, you can go to FS, uh, you can just type in FSUIPC free and that will get you to the FSUIPC.com website. And on that, if you're running MSFS, you can download the V7.3.3. And again, all you have to do is uh, click on the installer file and it will install FSUIPC for you as well. Now, now that you have both of these installed, let's go through some of the nuances where uh, you'll have to set it up correctly so that you are um, you are linked everywhere and kind of getting what you need from these tools. Okay, so once you have both of those installed, you can open both of them together. You will see that it says connected. Now, this will show my latest landing performance, which was amazing. What you need to do here real quick is go to edit and preferences and make sure that you have linked your account here. What this will do is this will allow you to log all your landings on your fshub.io account. It's not tough, just, you know, sign up on fshub.io website and then um, let me unlink and show you how it will work. So link your, it'll say link LRM account to your fshub account. All you need to do is enter your, uh, when you hit link account now, it will link and the status will say all good. That's all you need to do to make sure that all your landings are getting logged on your FS Hub account. And you can always uh, look at those from going to your profile and clicking on, clicking on my logbook. It, it would have logged all your landings here. <clears throat> For example, I've done two landings after installing this plugin. So if let's say I, if I want to view this one, it will, sh it will show all of the information about that flight and it will also show the flight path. So I took off from this runway, went around and landed right here. So yeah, really nice tool. It will also show your altitude and speed that you flew. So really, really nice tool to have to kind of improve your landing. And with PMDG 737 coming in, a lot of new pilots are um, trying to get better at landing the 737. I personally found it tough initially. Um, it just feels different on the simulator. So. Yeah, this, this will be a great tool for me to practice some landings with the 737. Okay, so that makes all sense. Once you have linked your account, you'll be able to log all of your landings there. Make sure you enable black box here so that it auto starts with your simulator and then minimize it. Minimize this the uh, window to system tray. All that is good. You can use whatever settings you want here. Make sure you have the show landing information ticked so that inside the sim, when you land, it will show up the toolbar which will have your uh, landing information. I've kept the cabin applause for good and bad landings up well screams and applause so I mean it's basically just a bunch of people clapping if you land really well and then if you land beyond a certain um, you know thresholds of FPM it'll make people scream so it's a nice fun touch to um, um, add there as well Oh, okay so it's thinking that the simulator is on which is kind of weird but anyways you'll have a lot more you'll have a lot more options um to to add different uh, different kind of cabin announcements and sounds and everything here um and a lot more to fiddle with so just make sure you check that out this is not a full like a review video or anything but yeah make sure you check that out for fsu ipc7 you just need to make sure that you go to add-ons wsm and make sure that you ha uh, you click on enable here 
not sure why but i was not able to connect lrm unless i would enable this thing i'm not sure i'm not sure why um in fact you know go ahead and enable this one as well i don't know the technicalities of it but i wasn't able to get the lrm to connect to the simulator until i had these enabled next we will open the sim and i'll show you what you need to do inside the sim to make sure that when you're landing it will actually show the landing rate on your screen for 15 seconds like we have just uh, set it up here in preferences okay so once you're in the sim go to um, assistant op assistant options and then go to notifications and make sure that you have the software tips on on because if you have set your um, if you set your assistant options to custom or hard this is probably going to be off and if this is off you won't see those uh, landing rates and g-forces when you land so make sure that you have this on so that's the only last piece of thing that you need to change inside the simulator to make sure that everything runs well one more thing that you can do is go to options under fsui pc and make sure that the exit with fs is um, ticked so that you don't have to manually um, close out fsui pc when the simulator is stopped it will automatically close same way for the LRM, what you can do is go to preferences and like I said, enable black box so that it auto starts with your simulator and then it will just minimize to system tray so that you don't have to remember turning it on always before you start your sim. So yeah, and uh, regarding the resource resources that it consumes, so let's go to task manager real quick here and let's see how much resource it consumes. So here you go. There is the there's the resource summary. LRM client consumes about 150, 150 MB or something. And then FSUI PC consumes about 25 MB. So not much if you have a 16 to 32 GB RAM or something like that, you should be fine here. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be consuming a lot of resources here. Same way for CPU and GPU. GPU obviously doesn't use any. Uh, CPU, it's around, let's say 0.4% or something total. LRM and FSUI PC. So yeah, nice little tool that you can install and uh, work on improving your landings and you can also um, have a logbook to kind of uh, keep track of how you're improving as well. So yeah, I'll be using it exclusively. Uh, make sure you guys try it out. And if you like these kind of trips and tricks videos, please, please, please make sure you subscribe. It's really hard to grow an audience here but it'll be i would really 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 be thankful to um, everyone who would like the video and subscribe or comment thank you guys and i will see you in the next video